welcome to another episode of Curtain Call Conversations. I'm here today with Sherry Baines, who's just about to star in the Salisbury Playhouse production of One Last Bush, which is a play written by Chris Chibnall. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Working hard. Good, yes. You're So you're in rehearsals now, are you? We are. We're about halfway through the rehearsal process at the moment. Ah, excellent. Yeah. So tell us about this play. It sounds fantastic. It's a comedy. I mean, we all need a good laugh these days. So I think this is going to be very welcome. Um, and of course, Chris Chibnall is, you know, a very celebrated writer. So I'm I'm imagining this is hilarious. So tell us all about the premise We're of hoping. the show. <laughs> We're hoping it'll be hilarious. That's yeah. sort of down to us doing it right. Um, yes, absolutely. Very, very funny. Um, lots going off, lots happening. It's very physical. It's fast. It's funny. It's got heart as well, because at root, it's also um, a story about families and relationships, um, whether it be uh, mother, daughter, father, who's been estranged from the father to be. Um, we have a next door neighbor. We have a girlfriend of the estranged father. So it's a six hander. Okay. Um, so we end with the big giving birth scene, but leading up to that, all sorts of things happen and go wrong and doesn't quite go according to plan. Right. And that's where the humour is. Ah, brilliant. So you play Eileen. So I tell do. us all about Eileen. What is she like as a character? Eileen is, I think, the nightmare mother <laughs> that you don't want to have around when you're having your first baby okay. at home. Um, <laughs> She's desperate to be included, desperate to help, um, to be the doula. Right. Um, her daughter is equally desperate for her not to be the doula, but events take a turn where she has to step up and and play her part. Um, so she's vindicated in the end. Right. <laughs> she sounds a very fun character. She's great to play. I'm really yeah. enjoying getting to know her and, and developing that sort of the humour from that side of her relationship with with her daughter and yeah it's great fun yeah I mean you've got a great cast with you as well you've got Sam Alexander um Valerie and Twi who is that who plays your daughter no my daughter no. is that Laura Laura playing Jen. yes playing yeah. Jen of course um and James Gaddas um and David Partridge as well I mean have you worked with any of these performers before Sam and I worked together literally a year ago here oh. in the same theatre oh, wow. so we know each other quite well and we're really pleased to find out that we were doing this together uh, um laura i worked with years ago on call the midwife oh, i was the very strict um adoption agency head who facilitated and almost called off the adoption of um the turners from adopting their child yeah. Um, so, yes, we have worked together. And in fact, uh, actors have a show reel, which is their audition tape, yeah. which shows um, elements of various work they've done in the past. And Laura is on my audition. Oh, wow. Reel. Oh, well, that's yeah, lovely, isn't it? That's nice. nice. Scene. Yeah. yeah, it's nice, obviously, to work with people that you're, <laughs> that you're familiar with, I would think. Mm. Um, so the rehearsal process for you, I mean, do you enjoy do you enjoy that part of it? I mean, reading a script, obviously, just looking at it and not it, picturing maybe how it's going to be performed on stage. Do you really enjoy when you all get together and it's happening? Yes. I mean, some of us say, and I'm not sure why I stand on this, but some of us do say we actually enjoy the rehearsal process almost more than the performance is a different sort of yeah work it's yeah. it's a different element of the work um but it's fascinating especially with a new piece where we're still finding out if a line works yeah. if it's not quite working how we can make it better and chris is being incredibly the writer being incredibly open to all our suggestions and and it's a really collaborative process which is making it a joy Right. Yeah. Sometimes the problem with an, a new piece is if the writer is very precious about the, the lines um, and they're yeah. not working, it can get a bit awkward. But Chris said from day one, this is a collaboration now. This is ours. Please, you know, feel free to to work with us and and create it together with Gareth, the director. Yeah. So it really does feel like a team effort now. 
Brilliant. And when you're sort of creating Eileen and you you think of how she may be, I mean, do you do you pick certain sort of elements of different people that you may know in real life or other, you know, famous people that you think, oh, she'd probably have a bit of that in her or? Um, I think it's just the lines are so beautifully written for Eileen that it, it's it's really easy to feel connection with them. Yeah. And I have to say there's a little bit of my character, <laughs> although Chris didn't know me before he wrote okay. the, the part. And I wasn't cast before he yeah. wrote the part. Um, <clears throat> but yes, there is quite a lot of me in her okay. um, without my even trying, <laughs> because I'm quite a control freak. I okay. do think I can do things better than anybody else. And um, <laughs> yeah, that's and that's a really important part of Eileen, that yeah. she likes to be in charge. <laughs> and I do too. Yeah, good to know. Why not? Um, I mean, it's it's playing at the Salisbury Playhouse, and you've you've performed there before, um, previously, as you mentioned. Twice. Yeah. yeah. I mean, what what were you in before at the at the theatre? I was in before the party. That was before the pandemic. Oh right. And then um, this time last year, how the other half loves. So this oh. is my third show here. Yeah. Excellent. You must love the venue. I do. It's a really lovely venue. The, the team backstage and forestage are great. And it's a lovely place to be working. It's a lovely town. It is. Um, I'm really happy here. Yeah. Oh, that sounds lovely. So uh, talk, talk me through opening nights for you. How are they for you? I mean, are you, I mean, obviously you've got to have an element of nerves, otherwise you wouldn't yeah. perhaps care about yes. what you're doing. I mean, everybody yes. must be nervous about that sort of thing. Yeah. But how do you, how do you deal with it? Do you have any sort of things that you must do before you go on stage? Anything um, like that? I have to be quite quiet right. um, and and sort of concentrate. Um, I'm not one of those people who wants to have music on and mm. and gear myself up. I need to be quite quiet and concentrate. Yeah. It is nerve wracking. It's sort of horrible, but wonderful at the same time. Yeah. Um, yes, of course, you've got to be nervous because and there have to be good nerves that you can yeah. use. Yeah. Good adrenaline. But there is... There's always a moment during the day leading up to the first performance where you just think, why do I do this? Why do I do this job? <laughs> yeah. And then also um, what I found the very first job I ever did um, in the day leading up to the opening night, I could just run away. <laughs> I don't have to be here. I could actually run away and not do this. Oh, <laughs> and that's always a bit tempting. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, um, I mean, it sounds. I mean, it sounds a wonderful show. I mean, is there a is there a sort of pressure on all of your um all of you? Sorry, your performance um for a new piece of work. I mean, do you feel the pressure, or are you sort of happy that you know the writer has done such a great job and the director that you're happy um you know to to be doing it on stage. Yes. It's a, it's a different sort of pressure mm. because nobody has ever said those lines before. Yeah. You want to pay um, respect to them and you want to yeah. do your absolute best with the character and with the lines and with the piece. Because yeah. it really does feel like it's in our hands and it's still being formed. Yeah. Um, the pressure is different if if you're doing a classic and you know that loads and loads of people in the past have said those lines and you've got to try and find yeah. a new way of saying them. Mm. and not be influenced by a film version or a, a TV yeah. version that you've seen or an, a, another stage version that you've seen. So it's yeah. a different sort of pressure mm. um, with a new piece. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're talking about your career, um, Sherry, obviously reading up about you, you've done a lot. You've done a lot in your in your career. And you did mention Call the Midwife a little earlier then, which we must talk about because it's a massive TV show, um, still very popular to this day. I mean, what's it like going into a show like that, that is so big? Um, it can be quite difficult if you're going in for a couple of episodes, which is what yeah. I did with with Call the Midwife, Yeah. Um, because it's so established. Mm. Um, and I do remember thinking at the time, this is a particularly lovely set to come on to. Mm. Um, there are times when you go onto a soap, mentioning no titles, <laughs> where you don't feel quite so welcomed because it's a machine right. you yeah. just have to slot in and do the job do the job quickly and yeah. effectively and that's it yeah. but with call the midwife it did feel a very female environment mm. I remember particularly at the read-through we had um it was quite a 
a surprise and a nice surprise to come into the read through and feel such a really strong female environment. Mm. And yeah. And so my memory of it is is very happy. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's great. I mean, it is, you know, it's a very uplifting show as well. You know, it's obviously got its sad moments, but, you know, it's just mm. one of those programs that you can just turn on if you just want, yeah. you know, a bit of nice telly to watch. Um, so you've obviously done TV and obviously a lot of theatre. So do you have a preference? Um, the glib answer is uh, TV for the money and theatre <laughs> for the art. Um, yeah. But... <laughs> I just the last TV I did actually was Ralph and Katie, where I played, which was about um, a Down syndrome couple getting together, which was a, a spin off okay. from the A word. Oh, OK. And and that really did have heart yeah. as a series. And that was lovely. Um, and there again, we were creating a brand new story. It yeah. was a brand new series. Um, so some TVs do have the heart and the art. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's just nice to have a combination of keeping it fresh, keeping it different, having different experiences, which all feed into each other. Yeah. So I would say an ideal career, not that we get much choice because there's not that much work around. So I certainly tend to do what I'm offered. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's the ideal is to have a nice combination of yeah varying types of media and varying sort of genres yeah That's absolutely nice. and, and you've been also in the mousetrap um yes. in the west end of london which is an iconic show i mean it's out on its 70th anniversary tour as we speak obviously still mm. playing at the st martin's theater i mean i've seen the show i've actually seen it twice now actually so i you know i knew what happened the second time but i mean it, it's just what do you think that sort of show um how, why do you think that it's lasted so long in the theater well, it's become um, a thing in itself, the fact yeah. that it is so long. Yeah. I mean, when my mum came to see it, I was in it in 2018, I think, 2017, 2018. Mm. She had been to see the first year it was in the West End. Oh, wow. When she was 14. Oh. So for her to then come back yeah. to the West End and see her daughter in the show wow. was really lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I mean, it's the absolute opposite of doing a new piece because mm, yeah, hundreds of people have played your part before you. <laughs> yeah. So it really is a case of trying to make something different, make something new, make something fresh. Yeah. And they do change the directors every couple of years in order that it stays fresh. Yeah. Um, yeah. And we did it for six months, which I think was the shortest um, of the cast's changes. Right. Um, we had a an actor... Hugh Ross, who directed us, and he really wanted to try it with just a six month contract so that we really did keep it fresh. Yeah. Um, And it was fascinating, actually. It's just a very different animal from from what I'm doing now. Yeah. Um, My little challenge to myself every night was I'm just going to do one line each night completely different. Right. And and that way, just keep it different and keep it varied. Yeah. I think that's the joy with theatre, though, isn't it? Sort of like every single night is going to be different because you just yeah. don't know. I mean, you know, so they say about live work, you don't know what might, you know, you don't no. know what might happen, but that's the exciting thing. And, and the joy, thing. especially of, of comedy is, I mean, I love doing both serious mm. stuff and comedy, but the joy of comedy is that you hear the reaction yeah. changing if you make a change to a line and you can hone it Yeah. Mm. Um, with successive shows yeah. to see if you can make it better yeah each night and that's thrilling and fascinating to see what works best absolutely so going back to sort of the very beginning of your career why was it a career in the in the arts that you wanted where where was the love come from um my mum was in amateur theatre oh okay so I in Bradford um at the Alhambra with various amateur societies and I grew up doing ballet classes Mm. and always went to see her shows. So I saw all the classic musicals um, and fell in love with with the theatre through that, really. Um, Then I did a degree in English and drama at Hull University. Still 
not knowing how to make it my career yeah uh, coming from quite a working class background mm. um not really knowing living in Yorkshire how do you get to London how do you even start to <laughs> yeah. get into the, the world mm. so I was a journalist after university oh, right. I trained as a teacher first at Cambridge oh. being very sensible <laughs> knew straight away I didn't want to be a teacher but I loved my time in Cambridge yeah and then I was a journalist on a local newspaper back up in Yorkshire for two years but I'd been in the National Student Theatre Company alongside John Gobber when he was a teacher. Okay. And by the time, two years hence, I was working as a journalist, unhappy, thinking, how am I going to get back into theatre? And a call came, someone had dropped out sick two or three days into the first rehearsal of Shakers, the first production. Oh. And I got a phone call, would I like to go to audition? Um, called in sick at the newspaper, drove to Hull, <laughs> auditioned, yeah. was offered it. Oh, wow. And took a deep breath and um, gave up my journalistic career for five weeks' work. Oh, wow, really? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's worked out okay. <laughs> it has. And I'm glad I tried something else first. Yeah, um, yeah. And I'm glad in a way that um, I think you, you appreciate so much more mm. when you finally get to do it. And also those times between that we all have. Yeah. You know that you have other skills and that you can use and you know that you really were not happy not doing it. Yeah. So that sort of makes the bits in between the unemployment easier to bear. Mm. Um, and I always say to young people who say, how do I get into theatre? Yeah. I, I want to be an actress. What do I do? And I always say to them, don't do it unless you absolutely cannot bear not to do it. Mm, it's a good piece it's a of advice tough yeah. profession yeah it's uh, and you know there are everybody has down times nobody ever feels like they can relax and that they've made it and it's plain sailing from now on yeah even stars mm. don't feel like that ever yeah. yeah so you have to really really need to do it yeah yeah, that's a great bit of advice for anybody watching. <laughs> so one last push is opening on the 15th of February at Salisbury Playhouse, running through to the 9th of March. I really hope it goes well. I really enjoyed the, the chat today, Sherry. And I, I hope that the rest of the rehearsal process goes well as well. And, and good luck for the show and good luck to the rest of the cast. Thank you very much. You're Thank welcome. You. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>